Here are some notes on needle stick injuries. About 600,000 to 1 million needle stick injuries occur annually every year. The highest risk profession is anesthesiologists due to their procedures and OR exposure. Transmission risk is highest for hepatitis B, 25 to 62%, although this number has gone down with vaccinations for hepatitis B. This is much higher than hepatitis C, which is about 2%, and the seroconversion for hepatitis C is rare. This is also much higher than HIV, 0.3%, and less than 100 occupational HIV cases have been reported in the United States. The immediate management is to wash with soap and water. You don't want to squeeze the affected site to express fluid. That has not been shown to help. You want to flush mucous membranes with saline if they're involved, and you want to avoid caustic agents or antiseptic injections. Those also have not been shown to help. Some prevention tips, you never want to recap your needles if you can avoid it. 20 to 40% of injuries occur during recapping of needles. You should be aware of sharps beyond surgical drapes or other cloths because of course you can get poked through those softer tissues. You should use self-retracting needles or other built-in safety mechanisms if available. Some notes on treatment, HIV post-exposure prophylaxis should start immediately, ideally within hours, but you can start it up to two to four weeks after exposure. That HIV post-exposure prophylaxis will then continue for at least four weeks if you're found to be susceptible. For instance, if the patient whose blood got poked into you uh, was found to be HIV positive. Immune globulin is not effective for hepatitis C exposure. Lastly, some key points. Most needle sticks occur after disposal, during or after disposal, rather than during use of the needles. Um, this is, uh, you might think you might poke yourself while you're using the needles, but it actually happens afterwards when people are less careful with the needles. And of course, you should report all injuries per your hospital protocol.